What's up guys? It's your boy Jack and I'm back with another video. Uh, today, Lost Kingdom, the pass is just open. Well, they didn't just open. They've been open for some time now and uh, our current situation has just continued to be the same. No, uh, <laughs> no actual action. Um, I, I wanted to make our way down here to try and get involved in some of the fighting and uh, I guess that's not authorized yet for us to do so um, 54 and 77 have been going at it and uh, I guess for the past uh, was it three hours now they've been fighting and just you know going at it rallies open field right now they got something going on here Charles Martel versus Alex YSG there's so many people in this area that you know the things not even loading and it's on simple graphics so that kinda sucks but that's, that's good these two kingdoms, they were one and two in pre-KVK, uh, so you know that they're going to be active. I guess you can say that this is round two. 54 had their way in the first zone, zone four, which is why 77 has had to you know, get to this next zone over here since they're allied with 55 and uh, more people teleporting in who does he have in swag YSG Oh man, people that are just sitting around watching the flag are getting wasted. Just keep reinforcing that flag and this will eventually die down. They have been all over the place. Easy name. Man, that skill damage. <laughs> yep. Just keep reinforcing. We got some reinforcements coming in. This, these people, instead of reinforcing from so far away, they should have been closer, like on the outside of this, uh, you know, this area where YSG can attack. Because, you know, as they are trying to walk into this area, the troops are getting wasted by the skill damage of, uh, YSG. I don't know what this person is doing. Just giving away kills. <laughs> 21,000 dead troops on that. They're switching the garrison captains around. We saw Richard. Now we see Sun. I've been refreshing troops. 
Yep, that's what they're doing, refreshing troops. Charles Martel back in there. Man, I would love to see this report. They've been going at it. It's really a shame that we are not involved in any of the fighting yet. I'm just sitting here killing barbarians, hoping you know that we can there be some fighting going on for us later, and I doubt it. I think 54 will continue to wear 77 down, and uh, that'll be the the end of their little pushes. Sitting there, man, you're getting yourself wrecked. All those troops, half of them are gonna die. <laughs> Better stay away from that flag, buddy. Especially if you're not, you know, fighting. Like, what are you doing? Don't just stand there. Just getting yourself wrecked. This person is actually just attacking the flag. Good job, buddy. You want that? You want them to die? So just attack. <laughs> you want to defeat this flag? So just attack. Half of those troops died. Ooh. Keep reinforcing the rally, keep reinforcing the flag. There have been some reports that people send me, and it's just, you know, hours long of a rally, one rally. Just the same thing, going back and forth. Refill, refresh, move, start over. Just keep going. Let me see what uh, 55 is doing. 55 has been doing a lot of trash talk in the Lost Kingdom chat. And that's good. You know, talking trash is always good. And, uh, you know, they're starting to build flags. I'm assuming they are also fighting. are Alex versus Charles Martel that seems to be the the move to make 
especially if you don't control the field. But if you do control the field, and you have a player that has a nasty Edward and Tamar, oh man, Edward gets busy smashing out Charles Martel. But, you know, they don't control the field, so as they, uh, you know, get some ground here, they don't control the ground over here. So, 55 is trying to back up uh, the smack they were talking, and we'll just see how that continues to develop. They did drop their little forts. Let's see if 88, I mean 80 was, you know, able to push out. They were trying to get busy earlier. And they have made some progress out. But, uh, it's not going, their moves are going to be very slow and methodical. I, I don't think they will accomplish very much. Um, they have to try to burn these forts in order to actually get out and those forts take forever. They are pushing out this way. Which is pretty good. Nice little push there, but see they're trying to push out here too. Yep, they're trying to push out this way as well, and I'm assuming they're doing this to try to distract or occupy 82 and 65 as long as they can, so they can get some assistance from 55 which they've been in these fortresses and 82 is just skulking about waiting to I guess get busy the thing about these forts you know they take forever to be built and they take forever to burn um, I personally don't like uh, dropping any forts until like we control the field you know but you know other people play differently so that's cool wow I'm assuming they lost that battle yeah they lost that battle they didn't burn the flag it's repairing this flag like I said, man, I told you, Edward, he just destroys Charles Martel. It's not even really close. But, uh, this is what I expect out of, uh, 54 versus 77. I, I don't think 77 stands a chance. You know, they got manhandled the first time, so, again, they're getting manhandled here they drop these forts like again it's just a waste of resources you you don't control the field and you're going to lose these battles and you drop these forts as if you know that's the move to make maybe it is the move to make I don't know but you know if you already lost to them one time before you did the strat the same strategy in zone four, dropping these forts as if you know that that you're going to overpower 54. Just just doesn't seem very wise. Like, okay, you lost, you retreated. Did you learn anything? And just looking at this, you know, you haven't learned anything. You're doing the same things that you did when you lost. And the only thing that's going to happen is 
your hospital is going to get filled, you're going to run out of resources, and 54 is just going to continue to wear, wear you out. But, we'll see. We will see. I just wish that we could get involved in some of this good action. Yep. Oh, look at Fancy. She uh she's out there getting busy. Okay, I see you. That's the thing that is just so amazing about 54. Everybody fights. You know, from the smallest to the top. Everybody's out there getting busy. Which is why in the end, 77, they'll, they'll find themselves retreating. They, they built all this and just it's only a matter of time the thing that's just so <laughs> so amazing about 82 is they don't look like they are doing much but they they are very clever and stealthy stealthy like they just they are very good at what they do because if you remember uh, the previous video that I did uh, just before any passes were actually open 82 you know they didn't even have a uniform uh, kingdom you know they waited to the the last moment they they took their time and what they were doing and then just dominated 80 essentially and uh it's just <laughs> they are just very very good very methodical that's the word i was looking for just okay we're gonna go at our own leisurely pace you know we're not gonna let you rush us and just look they're just building away this is the approach that I would take just okay we'll build away move a little bit at a time there's no rush we don't have to win win the battle on day one Same thing with 54. Same thing with 54. We don't have to win the battle on day one. 65 also. Very methodical. We'll just chip away a little bit at a time. Oh wow, I'm trying to use Constantine. Man. I mean, they got two rallies, but Edward is just going nuts. So, this is another approach that a lot of people take. So, we'll start a rally, hit this up a little bit. Once we see that our rally is getting low, we'll stop it, rally it again. It will just wear you out that way. As long as our trades are good, we're good. So they have to refresh, refresh, refresh. They'll send another rally, hit this flag up. The moment they start swarming and trying to, um, you know, get some skill damage on that rally, let's kill it and do it all over again. Just wear you out. Yeah. 
out of all the uh, kingdoms, you know, 55 <laughs> was the loudest and uh, with their trash talk. And uh, we'll just see, you know, what they do, what, what they're all about. But I feel it'll be the same, same fate for, as uh, 77. You know, 82 is just methodically working their way down. They're in no rush to to join this and, and push this back. But the moment that they do, <laughs> it's curtains. Curtains. I initially thought that 77 would. Uh, you know, be smarter and just, you know, try to avoid 54 for as long as possible. You know, if they're going, 55 is going to be facing two on one pretty soon. 77, you already lost two 54 in this other zone. Why come in this zone at all? You know, just stay with your allies for as long as possible um, and maybe you can you know make ground that way I mean cuz look at this I mean just completely shut out and your strategy is to jump to this next zone and think that you'll overpower them or I don't know just doesn't seem wise at all Look at this, 65, 82, just, they're going to do that thing, they're going to do that thing, and, <laughs> these guys, just stop it, I don't know who's doing that, let's go back here, see what's going on, Yep, they crushed that flag. Looking to crush this flag as well. Who they have leading it? Alex. So, you send Alex to a flag when you uh, suspect that, you know, we don't have field control yet. And uh, we're looking for good trades when we do this rally. So, Alex will keep people from swarming um, the rally before it actually gets wow man they don't have anybody in this flag like, what are you doing Okay, there you go. Reinforce your rally because, man, Alex was crushing, crushing him. Man, you got Richard, Martel, and Richard. Dude. Maybe that's a good, good garrison? I don't know. I don't like it, though. Oh, he was just standing there. I was about to say, what the, what are you doing, buddy? Martel Shill. Dude, who's the secondary? Alex Shill. Oh, Constantine. Okay. He, he has Martel and Constantine. Okay. Maybe those will give better trades. This rally is getting crushed, destroyed. Maybe they're trying to wear this flag down. I don't know. But it uh, doesn't look like they are making any progress on it. Yeah, Constantine is a little better. They better stay with that, I guess. Oh, they're going to walk right into the YSG thing. Hit him. 
<laughs> free, free kills for Alpha. Man, he's letting his rally just die. Who does that? They didn't reinforce the rally, they just sent it down. Good job, way to defend your flag. We're coming again. Saladin. Well, I hope y'all hit in the city. Oh, they, they were able to burn this flag. Nice. Minamoto. What, what y'all doing? <laughs> Minamoto? What is going on? Minamoto and Ethel. <laughs> and they're reinforcing that. They are reinforcing that that flag. Minimo wow. I don't know what they got going on here. So everybody's out here getting busy fighting. Like, look at this war of conquest. This thing, enemy elimination, zero. Who's leading the way? Wow. This. Wow. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do. Just sit and record other people getting busy. Losing their minds. Man. I'm livid. But it's like that sometimes. Some field action. Let me go back. See what 55 and 65 are doing. Oh. Go. So even though they had this field, they still weren't able to take down this flag. So Martel and Constantine. Yeah, you gotta reinforce the rally. You can't just be sitting there. Meanwhile, this little barbecue, 65, is really focused on this area here and just gingerly. Addressing or just reinforcing here. Sending another rally to wipe this thing out. And of course, it's Edward. Yeah, you're gonna swarm this down. You're gonna have to. Because if you don't swarm this thing down, they are going to wreck that flag. That's how you got to do Edward. Like I said before, if you don't have control of the field, you just warm Edward down so he can't get busy. Because if he is getting busy, where is it? Where's this rally? Where they got in the field? They're burning this flag every time. 
as long as they have the field and you send Edward in, he's, he's wiping out Martell eight days a week and twice on Sundays. But in situations where they don't have the flag, you can't send Edward because they're just going to swarm him down. Just going to swarm him down. I mean, yeah, they, 65 isn't pressed, you know, we'll take this thing down and probably worry about this after we finish dealing with this, build another flag after this burns, keep working our way down, GT55, <clears throat> Probably isn't as strong as this alliance, or maybe they are. I don't know. Actually, Navi, let's see. Six billion power, total power, 55 gambit. Oh, so they, they have more power. Then, uh, then that other alliance, but 65 is man handling them. <laughs> okay, 55, they burn one flag. Dude, you better get up out of there. This flag is about to burn. And if you're in a war frenzy and they lock you up, they're going to probably zero you. Man, that that Martel Constantine setup, you know, it doesn't look like it goes down easy. Unless, of course, you... Hit him with Edward. What's this? Super bomb. Well, and I already got that. And you keep going in the flag? Like, what are you doing, dude? Unless you got some teammates to help you, you getting roasted. Maybe this person's just not afraid to kill troops. That's cool. I admire that, actually. I know exactly what it feels like to be stuck defending a flag solo. So I got the majority of my deaths defending a lot of flags solo. But no one... They wouldn't swarm me in a flag solo. They were rallying me to death. Rally, 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 rally. And since I'm the only person in the flag, there was no way I could, you know, try to swarm the rally as it came. <laughs> yeah, that thing burning gambit. Actually, that's one of my favorite X-Men. Gambit. The movies don't do right by my, by my boy. They don't even really... He should have his own little thing. Forget Wolverine. Yeah. yeah they're muscling their way over here. And just... Okay, we'll defend. Keep reinforcing the, the flag. Defend. Defend. Just buying time. Just buying time. Yep. 65 essentially saying, this is my circle. 
this is my circle so just get away and as they are buying time you can see 82 just working that thing out just working that thing out slowly one flag at a time that's how you gotta do it man one flag at a time we'll get there we will get there looks like they are doing some kind of open field fighting you know send out a rally you can take this down if you want but cancel just before and bam you have more people down here do the same thing on this for launch a rally put in what you want to actually attack with and then just before that fort hits or if you want to hit that fort you can but just kill the rally let your people jump out and voila we we're all the way down here about to get busy <coughs> even though these forts take a long time to burn they will burn if you don't control the field so 82 is just slowly working their way 80 is trying to push out they're trying to push out and what do you know stopped right in their tracks by who 82 and 65 so Sage is going to have to keep defending this flag hard. Refresh troops, send more troops in. Refresh troops, send more troops in. I doubt everyone in this rally has T5. So, I don't know. Yeah, you have the rally. Uh, you have to reinforce the flag, because if not, Alex is going to take that eventually. Yep, 82 just making sure. Look. Sage can keep the flag alive keep a flag from burning but she's gonna need more help from everyone else everyone else is gonna have to get in there and say look man it's time to lose all our troops but not everybody has the desire to do that and I can understand why I mean troops time and money and uh, you know some people just don't want to part with those things and you know I'm not mad at anyone who isn't willing to just get rid of their troops but I prefer to fight with people who are just gonna lose their troops like me so they burnt that flag and dropped another flag So just as I was thinking, you know, 55, they do a lot of talking, especially uh, Gambit 55, they do a lot of, a lot of talking, but uh, I don't think they can stand up to 65, so they can try, but I don't think they can stand up. So in KVK2, well, last KVK2 against 84, when we had people like this who are off territory trying to defend the flag, rally the flag, and trying to control the field, typically people like this, they have their best commanders out there. So this isn't being protected by anyone, you know, that can, I guess, hurt you. So 
what I typically do in this case is rally this city. I'll rally his city and that will draw attention away from these flags or force him to get on to territory so he doesn't have to worry about that or switch alliances. And if he switched alliances, the rallies that he's leading, the flag that he's defending, you know, those troops go away and he has to focus on home. Focus on home. But that's just, you know, how I got a good deal of my kills rallying people who are trying to defend, control the field, rally flags, and um, they're off territory, so I just hit their city. And when you hit their city and start killing their troops or injuring their troops, whatever they were doing out here stops real quick. I just wish that you weren't over here just doing nothing. Just hanging out. Man, this is trash. Just nothing. Well, anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Quick, just update of what's going on. I'm doing what I've been doing, which is absolutely nothing, and watching other people fight. But uh, if you were able to stay with me this long, uh, thank you for watching. And of course, I'll upload more videos if there's any more fighting going on, or if there's anything of interest, um, I'll upload. And um, if you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like it, dislike it. Leave a comment, hit the bell for notifications, subscribe, please. And uh, as always, thank you for watching, and until the next time, peace.